everybody, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Today we're going to be covering a new crossbow from Barnett. It's called the Buck Commander. Uh, Y'all seen me do the, uh, so the Predator, I believe it was, from him a few years ago. And that was a great crossbow. And I'll tell you what, Barnett has definitely uh, just kept it going. Kept it going straight. So this is the box that, that holds the Buck Commander in it. It comes with a sleeve that's, uh, that's over. It has a picture of the crossbow. This is complete package when you order it from him has arrows, scope, everything that you need to have in the uh, in the package to be able to go ahead get that bow set up and go out and hunt. So what we're going to do is today we're going to cover setting up the bow. Uh, basically I want to show you something and one thing with Barnett and I've had done some other crossbows but Barnett is the one that it always comes through is the way they pack their material. Now um, you know they put it so that there's no damage or anything along the, the crossbow itself and uh, it's all nice and neat and secure. So First thing we're going to do is you basically you get the box, you take the sleeve off. There's some staples along the edge here you're going to open up. You just pop the top, if you will, and it comes open. Now talking to you about how it's, how it's set up, let me tilt this up so you guys can see it. Everything has its own place. You can see you have your crossbow in there, your scope set. On the bottom, uh, your stock assembly is going to be on top. On the bottom, you're going to have your bow part itself with the strings and everything. So first things first, and I always recommend, you know, they got spacers in here, uh, little spacers to keep it from uh, moving in, in shipment. But first things first, comes with four arrows, has a rifle scope that is set up for the crossbow. They've taped where the arrows go. But first thing, we're going to pull out the stock. Now the stock of the crossbow is basically just like any rifle crossbow that you're going to, or rifle stock you're going to have, you have your trigger, trigger assembly, which is really cool. It's got some cutouts on it. Um, you know, you have your, uh, the rail on the top, has a safety. Everything works around safety with Barnett. Um, definitely really sharp. So let's go ahead and we're going to assemble the crossbow first. So we'll talk a little bit about it and then we're going to shoot it through the chronograph here outside. And I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed with what you're going to see here. So, uh, Here's your stock. You pull your stock out. Owner's manual. Always use your owner's manual when you're putting this crossbow together. I tell you what, so many people say, oh, I don't need that manual, but I utilize one all the time. Set that to the side. You're going to pull out your rifle scope. Basically, this is just a uh, shock and recoil proof rifle scope, fully coated. I think the power is four power. Uh, we'll cover that here in a little more in depth. Let's pull it out. I think they got some silica gel in there like most things. But uh, you just mount that on there. It's got your weaver scope rings and it goes on the rail here on the top. So shouldn't have a problem with that. We'll put it back in the box here. Set that to the side. All the rest here on top is going to be basically your arrows. They're all taped in. Everything's good. They got a rope cocking device on there. This rope cocking device is used. You put it on the, the crossbow and then there's a little spot here on the back of the uh, stock that you put the loop in and you pull and it sort of does a, uh, a pulley method to help you get the string back a little easier. All right? They got it set up with a quiver. That way you can carry them while you're hunting. Then the meat and potatoes of the crossbow is going to be basically the bow. All right, and they've got everything on here. It states it says lubricate wax your strings every five to ten shots. That's important because you know there's a lot of energy being put into this thing. All right, it's got 175 pounds of uh, draw weight on it. So yeah, this is definitely something a little bit more than you know what you're going to have with your normal compound bow. One great thing about Barnett is they have these rubber coated limbs. All right, and these rubber coated limbs that they came out with a few years ago, and I was talking to them there at the ATA show, they're used to absorb the shock from the bow so it makes it a little quieter. But we all know more than anything that uh, quietness is what counts. You know, you're shooting a crossbow at them, at an animal, you want to be able to uh, minimize the shock or anything along those lines. All right, one, uh, one other thing too is their little foot stirrup here. It's rubberized on the bottom, so if, you have, if you're in a tree stand, you put it on the tree stand to cock it, 
it's rubber so it's not going to make it clank or anything along those lines like some of the metal foot stirrups that they have on the crossbows. One complete system. It doesn't need a separate foot stirrup like a lot of them you have to screw in. This is one complete system. So I'm going to hold it sideways there if you guys can, I'm going to put it this way, you guys can see the foot stirrup sort of comes in here. Of course your arrow flies right over the top of that. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll cover that here more a little bit more in depth. Then the rest of what you have here is your, your hardware accessories. This is for uh, mounting your, your quiver to the crossbow. And then you got some, uh, actually as nice as it comes with some wax for uh, waxing the limbs or as you were waxing the uh, strings. All right. Then it has the one bolt. Nice thing about this crossbow, it only takes one bolt to put it together. And they have the, the tools with it and everything, which is something I really like. Open a pack. Take your screw and your Allen wrench out, and there you go. You have everything handy right there. So I'm going to take the stock here, and I'm going to show you guys how to put this crossbow together. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, you have your bow assembly, and then you have your, your stock assembly here. Now, you're going to, this will be zoomed in on so you can see, but you have a rail on the top here. And then right in between, there's a slide for your cables. What you have to do first is you take and you put your cables through that little notch right there. You'll see. Put that cable through the notch and make sure your string is on the top of the slide. And you want to line it up. It has a little groove right here on the bow portion. So the nipple, I'm going to show you guys real quick. We'll zoom in right there on it. This nipple just like on a predator fits into the female end right here of the bow portion so once again all you have to do is put the cables in between that slide and then you push until it all seats in and I'll point it towards you guys so you all can see just like that it sits right in there now, the only thing you have to do, which makes it real simple compared to other crossbows out there, is take the lock washer here, place it over the bolt. This is the bolt here, and it states on the bolt, it says, hand tighten using the hex key wrench supplied. Checked, check the tightness after your first 20 shots. So that's important because, you know, like anything else, it can loosen up. And this is a lot of power, like I said, 175 pounds. Put your lock washer over it. Turn the bow over, and it goes right here in the slot. You guys are going to see. It goes in here. You take your Allen wrench. Put it on there. I always, I always like to start off a, a nut or anything going in somewhere left until it clicks. That means it's going to be squared with the, uh, the screw hole. That's just a good tip for you guys. You don't want to strip a bolt. All right, so then all you have to do is tighten that down. About one more turn and I think we'll have it. Now it's, <clears throat> it's going to be a little tight when you're putting it in there, but that's, you know, what you want. You want it to be tight, all right? Hand tighten. That's pretty good right there. That lock washer set. So you just pull out your wrench. And the crossbow is now put together. So we'll take off all these things here on the string, which are basically just... Warning, this crossbow has been designed to shoot arrows at the correct weight. And great thing is, Barnett, with this kit, they sent us all the arrows that we need to know. I think you guys are going to really like it. Uh, it's definitely, it's not very heavy. It's like shooting a rifle. As you guys are going to see here on the range in a few minutes, we're going to go ahead and shoot this thing, and we'll shoot it through the chronograph. But really easy installation, very simple. It's, uh, it's all ready to go. One bolt's what holds it together. Just make sure you tighten that, uh, that bolt after about 20 shots and you'll be good to go. But 
right now, why don't we go ahead and head out to the range. We're going to cover what this crossbow can shoot. And uh, I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed. It definitely looks pretty deadly. It's got a great camel pattern of a real tree on it. You know, Buck Commander. Everybody's seen their television shows. And uh, Athens makes a Buck Commander bow as well. And I'll tell you what. The definitely, uh, definitely Barnett is making some quality, quality equipment. And uh, you guys are going to be really impressed. But let's go ahead and head out to the range and we'll cover the rest of the crossbow. We were experiencing some problems with our uh, microphones this morning, but basically it's simple. We were cocking the bow with the rope cocking device. You have to pull it back all the way until you hear a click. Once you hear a click, that means that the rope is seated. Now what we did is we were shooting a crossbow, and I want to reiterate that when you pull back the crossbow, it will actually put the safety on when it clicks. So you put the arrow on there and then you know shoot it. I do want to mention there was hardly any noise or any kick at all when we were shooting this crossbow. Now, one of the things you're going to see here is we're shooting it through the chronograph, and the speed was just blistering. 368 feet per second is just amazing, and I'll tell you, you could take anything down with that. All right, folks, there you saw it. We were out at the range, 12 degrees this morning, very, very chilly. Uh, however, we got the job done. One great thing is, you know, most of our hunt conditions, it's pretty cold out there. So, you know, the bow performed uh, flawlessly while we're out there. The AVI, which is anti-vibration technology on the limbs, absorbed all that shock. The bow was silent. Sounded, it made about the same noise and decibel-wise as what a normal uh, compound bow would. So, definitely something. Plus, you're shooting 360-some feet per second. And uh, you guys saw how fast it was smoking. I mean, that's a 466-grain arrow. And that sucker was just sailing. So uh, I, I tell you, I, I can't be more than pleased what Barnett's come up with. I did the Predator a few years back, and that was a great crossbow as well. You know, the scope system on here is just beautiful. Got those nice little uh, dotted reticles so that you can uh, set it up for certain yardages. Of course, you have to sight the crossbow in. Fortunately, I was able to put it on and went out and was only maybe three or four inches off to the right. Hit the target just fine. Um, i tell you what, everything about it, the eccentrics, it's got the magnesium riser with aluminum rail. The strings just makes it look great. I love orange anyway, so orange and black strings are just something that's just awesome. The safety on it, one thing when you're cocking it. Now, one thing I did have to do is I had to take the uh, cocking rope and actually shorten it a little bit because I was overextended. So you'll see when I first started doing it that I, I put it on there. Well, I tried it once. I almost got it back, but you know I was so extended that there's really nothing I could do. So I had to shorten the rope, which it's pretty simple. You just pull the knot out, tie a different knot in a different spot, and it gives you more leverage. So one thing that's important though, you want to put pressure on the on the stirrup, pulling it completely all the way back till you hear it click. And you want to make sure you hear that click, and that means that it's locked in behind where the string's going to be held behind here. So. And then it automatically goes on safety, so that, that's a great little feature that Barnett's come up with on their crossbows. Just like a rifle, you always want to treat this thing as if it's loaded because it will be loaded. Uh, you see that arrow in there when you pull it back, you mean know, in, in a tree stand or wherever, ground blind, whatever the case is, that, that weapon's ready to fire. So, you know, safety first. A lot of people are scared of crossbows, but I'll tell you what, if you get a chance to shoot one, if you can't shoot a regular bow, or even if you just want to shoot, I mean, I love to shoot this for just entertainment. It's fun to shoot. Colorado, uh, you can use them during rifle season. A lot of new states, North Carolina especially this year, allowed, uh, allows you to uh, use the crossbow during archery season. So a lot of you guys out there, great opportunity for you to get out and make good shot. If you're used to shooting a rifle and you can really shoot a rifle good, crossbow is going to be great for you. If you're not able to draw back a regular bow or you just want to take one out, then, you know, hey, I'd definitely have you guys check into the Buck Commander here from uh, Barnett because it's, it's just a great all-around shooting crossbow. And I tell you what, with all the eccentrics, everything, how it works, the safety system, the camouflage, the AVI on the limbs with the anti-vibration dip that they put on there, you know, this crossbow gets a total 10 for me. And Barnett has just come through with some of the best shooting crossbows that I've ever shot. Um, I've shot a couple of them out there. Some other reviews I've done on some, and you know they're not as easy to pull back as this. This was pretty simple with that rope cocking device. The little notch here on the back, you put it through, pulls it up. You don't have a problem cocking, cocking this crossbow because I tell you what, that's one of the biggest things. A lot of people are like, "Well, I'm disabled. I can't pull a regular bow back, and I can't even pull a regular crossbow back." 
Well, with that loop thing on there, you really don't need to utilize uh, the, the, the rope cocking device. You don't really need to use, utilize a lot of strength. However, if you can't even pull that back, I want to show you something more. All right, and it's on the air side as well, but this one I've already taken off. Pull this latch off here, and Barnett actually sells a little plastic plate. Sells a rope cocking device that fits in this hole right here, and I'll zoom in on there. And uh, you could just put it on there, put the little uh, hooks on your uh, crossbow, and uh, it cocks it for you. Just turn it, and there you go. So that's another great little thing that they have out. A lot of crossbow companies have them. Barnett has that whole thing built in, ready for their rope cocking device. So I suggest if you guys can, uh, can't, uh, you know, pull it back with your hands or the uh, the rope cocking device that you try one of those uh, those ratchet type things, and that'll really help you out. So. I'll tell you what, this has got the reviewed and approved sticker from uh, OutdoorProductReview.com with a total 10. So Barnett, I look forward to seeing a lot of things they're going to come up with in the future. I'll see them at the ATA show and I'm hoping they'll have some great things that we could test here on OutdoorProductReview.com. So for OutdoorProductReview.com, I'm Jason Ballas. We're going to see you guys on our next bow review or whatever else we're going to be testing.